Over the past few videos, we've learned how to create routes with dynamic parameters using square brackets in the folder name. With dynamic parameters, the route segment is mandatory. It must be a part of the URL to match the given page. Sometimes it's helpful to make a parameter optional. Let's take a look at scenario 7 to understand what I mean. At the moment, when we navigate to localhost port 5173, we see welcome home. Imagine if this were a landing page that has to support multiple languages like Spanish and French with English being the default. To accommodate that, we can have localhost 5173 support English by default, but if the user navigates to slash ES, we show content in Spanish, and if the user navigates to slash FR, we show content in French. To keep it simple, we will show hello by default, hola for Spanish, and bonjour for French. It definitely helps to support the language parameter, but we want this to be optional. Let's head back to VS Code and understand how to go about this. Now the language parameter is a segment after localhost port 5173, which means we create a folder within the routes folder. Lang. This folder should be dynamic to accommodate multiple languages. Let's wrap it within square brackets. Within the folder, I'm going to create a page.svelte file. For the HTML, we need to display the text based on the language. We need some logic for that, which means we need a script block. I'm going to begin by adding an object that will map language to a greeting. So const greetings, and I will add three key value pairs. English, hello. Spanish, hola. and French, bonjour. Next, we extract the language parameter. For that, we import page from the stores module, and destructure the language parameter. Finally, we access the greeting from the object using this language parameter. We bind the greeting to the HTML. Nothing too complicated to understand, I hope. And I just realized this has to be dollar instead of app. If we now head back to the browser and navigate to slash en, we see hello. Navigate to slash es, we see hola. And navigate to slash fr, and we see bonjour. Our scenario is partially working. What is left for us is to ensure language is an optional parameter with English being the default value. Right now, if we omit the language parameter, the page.svelte file in the routes folder is what is displayed in the browser. And that has the text, welcome home. I want you to keep this in mind for another minute while I explain how to convert language to an optional parameter. As it turns out, converting a mandatory dynamic parameter to an optional parameter in SwellKit is really simple. You simply have to wrap the folder name with an additional pair of square brackets. Let me do that for the language folder. Now, as soon as I do that, we have an error in the terminal. The forward slash and forward slash lang routes conflict with each other. 
This is because with language now being optional, both these routes, page.svelte within lang and the root page.svelte file map to the same path in the URL. SvelteKit cannot figure out which file to map to and throws an error instead. Now one option to resolve this error is to delete this page.svelte file in the routes folder. However, we will still end up facing the same error with a few other routes. So what we are going to do is assume this is a marketing landing page. So within the routes folder, I'm going to create a new folder called marketing and move this optional route folder within the marketing folder. So slash marketing slash ES, we have Spanish, FR, French, and EN, English. But if we navigate to just slash marketing with language being optional, we have a problem. We see undefined. We have to accommodate for the absence of the language parameter. For that, we set a default value when destructuring language. And that would be English. Head back to the browser and we see hello for slash marketing. The language parameter is now optional. This is how you add optional parameters in SvelteKit. Scenario number seven has been implemented. All right, thank you for watching. And in the next video, let's understand how to navigate between routes from the UI. I'll see you in the next one.